Welcome back. With our stolen Supreme Court reconsidering Roe v. Wade, we are on the verge of being trapped in a prison of abortion laws we can't escape. But I decided to try anyway. Lock doors, a bunch of clocks, and a wall of fame celebrating those who are important to the reproductive justice movement. Loretta Ross, the Yellowhammer Fund, and of course, Roe. Welcome to Samantha Bee's Reproductive Justice Escape Room. In my career, I have done so many pieces about reproductive justice, about abortion, about choice. I don't have any more ways to talk about it. And because nothing is stronger than the power of sisterhood, let us introduce the game's first and only ever co-contestant. Hi, I'm Busy Phillips. Two years ago, I had the honor and privilege of testifying before Congress about my abortion, and today, and doing an escape room. Sam and Busy will have 30 minutes to solve a series of puzzles. Once they do that, they'll have legalized abortion. Wait, what? Oh, uh, sorry. Once they do that, they'll be allowed to leave this room. Okay, we are gonna go into the escape room. I'm very nervous. I'm so scared. We're both really scared. We're genuinely scared. Just open the door. Bye. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Are we locked in? Yeah, okay. First up, Republicans love to clock block reproductive rights in America, and time is ticking to save them. Our contestants need to identify how many of the clocks in this room have the same amount of digits as the number of seasons in a year that abortion should be legal. Easy, right? I don't even understand how an escape room works. There are clocks over here. There's clocks. Oh, the clocks that have four numbers on them. Yes, oh, I did it! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. So we know the first one is six, right? Six. Okay, I got it. Doesn't work. <gasps> oh, ah! it works. It works, guys. We did it. Looks like Dave got it. Oh, good. We got a. It's a tool. A tool. Fun fact. Like the gears in this table, public support for abortion has shifted. Now 59% of Americans support it in all or most cases. Oh, wait, look, look, look. There's a key. Ah! Did My it. God, let me out of this room. Oh, it unlocked. Here. What? This is it. This, this is it. This okay. is it. Turn the key and scan your finger to start the main power console. It sounds complicated. But it's actually much easier than getting an abortion in most U.S. states. That is true. Not fun fact. Approximately 6 in 10 women of reproductive age live in states that are hostile to abortion rights. And scan your finger. Wow. Oh. Okay. Succeed. Oh, okay. No, okay. Well, all right. And now, on to the last step. This, this is the last step. step. Oh. Here we go. Mm. Busy, come on. We should, I should be able to figure this out. Look at this. Look. Ah! Ah! Oh my God, there's another room. <laughs> Let's check in and see how the contestants are holding up. You know what? Every once in a while, it's good to figure out what your weaknesses are. My weakness is escape rooms. I wouldn't say that I carried the team, but you could probably say that in the edit and it wouldn't be wrong necessarily. That first room took forever. Let's see how they're doing at the Wall of Herstory. A brief Herstory. Okay. Let's see. First, there was nothing. Then there were a bunch of dude presidents, Roe, and in 1976, Congress passed the Hyde Amendment, which banned federal funding for most abortion care. Somewhere around there, Jerry Falwell decided that abortion would be a really good thing to focus his constituents mm -hmm. and followers on in order to get them to vote the way he wanted, mm -hmm. which was essentially you know, for racists. Classic Falwell. The following eight states have pre-Roe abortion bans in their laws, which would Im be immediately enforceable if Roe was overturned. Now, Sam and Busy need to locate those eight states on the map behind them. First of all, here's my home state where I had my abortion, Arizona. The people who live in these states will likely lose their access to abortion if SCOTUS overturns Roe. West Virginia, Virginia right here. Okay. That's definitely in there. We got that one right. Very hard. I, P, P, I. Okay, so guys, do you know how good it would feel to codify Roe? Orgasmic. Orgasmic. But like most men, we're not gonna let you finish. 
rude. So just put the first five letters of this word mm -hmm. in the cryptex. Okay. That's over here. This is just this like is the cryptex. Da Vinci Code. This is G. Sam wasn't like super helpful. I didn't even know these things existed. How, how would I have known that? Ooh, what's inside of that? Oh shit. <laughs> oh, it's a key. I didn't know that. Maybe this one goes here. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that either. Oh wait, look, there's a red dot here and a red dot there. Oh. Like that. And then the mirror became transparent. I didn't even see that. Holy shit, this isn't over yet. Now they have to count the plan B, condoms, blazers, and abstinence pamphlets in the room. It's the only abstinence thing that actually works. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pamphlet with my face on it. The total number of each item makes up the code that gets them out of the room. Thank God. So let's find the plan B. All the plan B. I know that an escape room is silly, Ugh. but the things that are at stake right now are not silly at all. Now we shall count condoms. If Ro gets overturned, all of the work that people have done over the last many, many decades will be overturned. But also just how we choose to live our lives and how we choose to take care of ourselves and our families. That's like truly what's at stake. Five, Five six, six, eight, four. <gasps> Dad, what's in here? Did we get oh. out? I think we got out. We're out. Take her out. Ah! Oh my god, oh my god! Oh! That was too scary. That was too scary. Don't, don't do it when I come out. Congratulations! You've escaped the escape womb, but unfortunately, you're still stuck in America. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to hear more from Full Frontal, like and subscribe. If you'd like to hear some opinions from a man in a lifted truck, leave YouTube on autoplay.